We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. The name above all names, the name that has power to break every chain, the name that releases power when we call on it with faith. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, the Lamb of God who came to take away the sins of the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. My dear friend, I want to speak to you today and the title of my message is Press and Don't Give Up. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then I'll begin to speak to you. Wherever you are in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you are listening. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit, take over control and help us to pray. Help us to press in and help us to draw nearer to Jesus, that we may know him more. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, persistence pays off. But persistence is something that should be used with wisdom. Persistence in a specific calling, in a specific area, in a specific direction. It is something that takes the wisdom of God. It is something that one should be able to discern when to push on and when to stop. Persistence can be good in certain circumstances, but in others it could lead to a bad outcome and it's very important that we're able to distinguish when we should persist and when we should stop and this is the good thing about following the leading of God because it is safe and one can safely say it is completely safe to persist and to push on and not give up in the area that God has clearly told you to go in. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 3 from verse 14 to verse 15. It says, I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, let us, as many as are mature, have this mind. And if in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal even this to you. Now, there are many people who God has called and at this point in time they are not walking in the place where God wanted them to be and the only reason that is happening is because at some stage they gave up when they weren't supposed to give up sometimes we press on and just before we receive our breakthrough we listen to the voice of the enemy telling us give up there's no hope, it's useless, it's pointless, and we lose out on great things that God wants to do. I want to encourage you, my dear friend, develop your personal relationship with God. You see, when we enter this world, we enter alone. And when we leave this world, we leave alone. And God is with us. Now, there are only a few things that you can take with you. And this is very important what I'm about to say. I'll mention two of those things that you can take with you. Number one is your relationship with God. Number two is the treasures that you have stored up in heaven. All the physical things, these things that we strive for on a daily basis, these things that we give up our time and our life for on a daily basis. When our day comes to leave this realm, we leave it all behind. And who knows who may inherit it. It may be someone who will just come and destroy everything. But I said that because it's important to understand when to persist and when not to. And furthermore, it's important to develop our relationship with God. Develop your relationship with God 
and start to hear what God is saying concerning your life. It is good and it is proper to hear a testimony from a third person and a prophecy that God has called you. But it is also very important for you to receive confirmation for yourself in your heart from God. And it is my prayer that each and every one who would listen to this message would be taken to that level of maturity in Christ where they can confirm and hear for themselves what God is saying concerning their lives. I'll read this scripture once again. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. So there is a prize. And that prize should be our goal. Therefore, let us, as many as are mature, have this mind. So this is a mindset of those who are mature in Christ. And as you start to mature in Christ, you start to realize in your relationship and your journey with Christ what is important and what is not. And God reveals these things to you. I encourage you to press on in the areas that are very important. The areas that will bring the most results both spiritually and physically. We are in this realm for a very short period of time. And it's very important that while we are in this realm, we should make the good choices now and guarantee our eternity. Guarantee our future in Christ. If you have not yet given your life to Jesus and you are listening to this, the way that you can guarantee your eternity is by believing in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came in likeness of man, he came and took up our punishment upon himself. He is referred to as the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He took up our punishment upon himself so that we could have an opportunity. He brought the ultimate atonement sacrifice to redeem us back to God again. And through him, we can be saved and our eternity can be guaranteed. Through Jesus, we can go to greater glories and we can go to a greater level. Through Jesus, we can receive deliverance. We can receive freedom. Through Jesus, we can receive all that we need in order to succeed. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us praise God for a few moments. And as we discern God's presence, then we'll begin to pray. Father, we praise you and we thank you. We lift up your name. For your good and your mercy endures forever. Your mercy truly endures forever. And your grace is sufficient. For your power is made perfect in weakness. And right now, even in our weakest times, we choose to trust in you. There are so many things happening around the world. But for those who believe and trust in you, we go by a different set of rules. We don't need to worry. We don't need to stress. All we need to do is trust in you because you make a way where there seems to be no way. And when people come and fight us, you are the one who fights for us and we give you praise and we thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now, I want to pray for you in line with this word. I won't be long. I encourage you, comment and agree. And also, Share this message with any of your family or friends who would like to hear it, who it will bless, and sow a seed of the word in their life. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Give my dear friend strength and encouragement to press on and not give up, to press on beyond any discouragement, to press on towards the prize of the upward call of God in Christ. Give my dear friend the grace to discern and hear your voice and to know where to press on, where in which direction, in which area of their life they should push on and in which area of their life is just wasting their time. Give my dear friend the grace to recognize these things early so that time is not wasted. Wherever there's any stagnation, break every form of stagnation and bring growth, massive growth. 
I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend, and God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.